more busier than yesterday. Oh, uh, okay. I think as the uh, as as uh, as as things start moving along, more people will start coming. But it's nice because it's it's nice to see the atmosphere, you know. Right. It, um, after a while, everything was shut off, and it, when you don't move. After a while, all of the lights in the office shut off. So oh, right. So it gets very dark and eerie. Yeah. So Steve and I got used to walking in the dark, and you you know <laughs> know where to where to walk to not trigger every single light to turn on. Right. Um, and now there's people in the office, so it's cool. The only thing is now now I have to wear a face mask every time I walk out of my office, which is a little. I know. Annoying. Well, part of the reason I'm not coming in is a because I'm old, and two because where I sit. The, it's a, that it's such that open space that I have to have a mask on all the time. So, uh, yes, but also remember that um, that we have options for a desk like yours. Um, so, if you wanted to come in at some point, um, I could speak with Sam and see what options to temporarily at least move you to a different place where it's not so um, uh, not so out there. Okay. All right. I'll let you know when I decide to do that. If I do. Okay. Great. Oh, here so, we have a few more people. Oh, yeah. All right. All we had to do was wait a little bit. That's right. So um, I archived the rest of my ads so that you could only see um, these two. And um, I personally like Facebook ads. Um, but before I start Facebook ads, I'll start and I'll end by saying um, Facebook ads are absolutely uh, worthless if you don't do the follow-up and you don't do the homework and you don't do the the the, the lead generation follow-up that that goes with it so um, Facebook ad just like just like any other internet Facebook just like any on any other internet ad um, you know you've got a 2% conversion ratio and if you're one of the best in, in the entire country then you've got like a 4% conversion ratio right uh, which means that, oh wait, am I supposed to be recording this? Hold on. How do I stop? How do I record? I have no idea. It says it's recording. Oh, it's, it says it's recording? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It does. Okay, good. Never mind. So how do I share my screen again? Okay. So, <laughs> and, and, and the reason I said that is because I don't want someone to think that this is like, you know, the gold cow or the gold goose or whatever it is. And you're, you're going to get, uh, at, you're going to get leads and all of a sudden you, you pay 30 cents a lead and, and now you close a, a, a million dollar house. It doesn't typically work like that. It can happen. You can hit a unicorn like you can hit the lotto, right? But you've got to play the ticket, right? You got to buy the ticket. So these are your tickets right here. Um, so, um, so this is what campaign looks like um, when you when when you go from home to campaigns. This is what it looks like. Um, and on the top, you have your dashboard, uh, which tells you everything you've done lately. Gives you a lot of uh, training on how to track your campaign results. If you want to see some stuff there, you can definitely do that. And I'll just open it on another window to to see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Command your business. Um, so yeah, it has a lot of good stuff there. So there's two types of campaigns you can do. One is uh, you can hit a social post, which is a free one. You can hit direct mail, which is obviously a postcard, uh, email, and, and then you can hit social ad or search. So we're gonna do the, the paid ad and we're gonna name this one demo for class. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is demo it, uh, excuse me, is name it. If you're doing the same address a couple of times, I would, you know, I would name it appropriately to whatever you want so that you could remember uh, what you were doing or which property it was. And then you have a couple of things. Now, advertise a listing is going to get you exposure. Um, uh, all of these are going to get you exposure, but advertise a listing um, is is really going to allow you and attract buyers. Um, it's going to allow you to put more names in your database. I think one, two, and three is where you're going to want to be most of the time. Um, you can advertise multiple listings. I personally am not a big fan of it. Um, and brand awareness, remember, is just that, brand awareness. It's just Coca-Cola putting Coca-Cola on the side of a bus. They don't expect to get a sale from it. They just want others to know that brand. And personally, I don't think that brand awareness is something that we should be doing 
until we've built um, until we've built you know a, a good pipeline under us, right? Another one is event awareness. We're having a career night, and that's something that I'm going to be advertising uh, tonight um, when I get home. So I'm going to uh, attract buyers. That's what I, I'm going to choose to do. And remember that you have three options, but it's best to do each one individually. So let's say you have a $30 and that's all you want to spend this week, then fine. But if you want to do 15 on Facebook and 15 on Instagram, that's fine. Uh, but just keep it on one. It's recommended that you spend 20 to $30 to, uh, during these campaigns. So I'm going to hit, so, uh, I'm going to select Facebook. And if you have any questions, you could interrupt me at any time, please interrupt me so you don't forget your questions. All right, so this is what it looks like. Um, the name, the goal, uh, the, the listing selected. Uh, does anybody have a, a listing that they want me to do here as a demo or should I just do any one? I don't have any listings right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select a listing that I helped sell last year and it's back on the market this year. So six branch lane, I saw that Mr. Len Shorts just put it on. I'm not gonna actually make this ad public because I haven't spoken with him. But that's a beauty about working with with an with uh with a a brokerage with, with so many successful agents that you could say, Hey Len, would you mind me uh you know advertising your 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 listing and and of course he's gonna say yes. Um now a couple of things here. Uh Here's where you put your listing. Um, the second line is where you put your uh, second line uh, box is where you put your listing, and the third box is where you put your ad, your your text. Now your text, you're gonna want to keep it short and sweet, uh, a two liner at 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 absolute best. And um, uh, awaits you and um, your new. Uh, maybe retreat awaits you. Uh, and this line, I'm I'm just gonna use. And you guys are probably better at marketing homes than I will. Um, than I than I than I am. Um, let me see. Uh, and and again. Uh, welcome. Okay, so, so this is what I'm gonna put on the ad. I don't know why it's not allowing me to type anymore on. Okay, I'm not sure what the problem was. Welcome to your new oasis. And then I personally like um, uh, emojis get better if you just put one or two emojis on your uh, on your listing or, or on your ad. Believe it or not, they get better. Um, they get better um, response. So I'm gonna select a second emoji here. My computer has them hidden in a bar somewhere, so that's why it takes a little bit to load them. But how's this? Yes. And and then the description. Now again, you guys are, are you guys are marketers for a living. So whatever you feel is is gonna be that captivating word, that's that's what I would use. Um, and that's how you add your text. Once you add text, you wanna hit save. And then add media. Now, Facebook, along with, um, as a matter of fact, I I, I want to put these emojis up here too. Actually, I want to start with an emoji, and then maybe put one in on the on the other side. There you go. Um, once you once you add your text, Facebook um, finds better that two things are better. Video is the best, but if you can't do video, um, and by video, a short 15 second clip, right? Or 30 second clip of the best things that you have to offer right then and there. 
uh, don't put your three minute video of the walkthrough with like the address initially, you know, with the intro being about 15 seconds long, it, no one's going to watch that, right? Um, so if you can't do a video, uh, we recommend multiple images. So you're going to click on add more. And again, it looks like this. So you're going to click on add media, literally AD media, add media, click on images and hit add more. And then you can click on the best shots that you feel will uh, give the, that home more exposure, right? Or it's going to be that that thing that drives people uh, to that house, right? Um, so let's let's select this because kitchens are nice, right? Uh, and we can bring it up, bring it down. I don't want to leave the lights out, so I'll cut half of the bar stools. And then I'm going to add um, another picture. This house has a really, really cool like little pond in the back. I don't know why they didn't put that there. That would have been really cool. Um, and maybe this one. I like this picture. I think my wife would like this picture too. So I'll just add it there. And um, and and I recommend three uh, to four pictures. Five if at an absolute max. Um, actually, I like this one better than the other one. So I'm going to select this one and take that other one out. This one is nice right here. This is beautiful. And I'm going to remove this one right here. I'm going to delete this image or you can change uh, or, or you can drag it um, and you can, you can drag and drop. So this is what they see. This is what the, they call this a carousel. So they see this initially, then they move on to the next picture. Then they move on to the next picture. And I'm going to add one more. Uh, just to give it some, uh, just to give it a home feeling. Uh, this looks a little small, but this room looks relatively big. So I'm going to add this one. And that's it. Uh, I'm not going to add any more pictures. I'm going to make sure that the skylight is showing. Uh, I'm not going to add any more pictures because I don't want to. I, I, I want them. I want the reason you uh you add multiple pictures is to tease them and then once you have them then they're going to click on your ad um, that's why you want to add multiple pictures now we're going to hit save media and now the next uh is the channel option so you're going to configure and i have an endless amount of pages that i own and i'm in charge of right so i'm going to click on the one that the one that i would use um so this is a, a real estate uh, a Facebook page that I use to recruit. So I'm going to add it there. And then, um, and then you can, on the, the, next, the next spot underneath is where you can um, choose what you're going to do, whether it's a lead generation form or a standalone site landing page. For the most part, we recommend to use that Facebook lead generation form. The reason being is that if you use a standalone site, if you end up doing that, what happens is that it takes them out of Facebook into another site. And then if they just click out of your page, they never, um, they never, they never, you never got their information. So you may feel like it's a waste of, of time and money. The only time I recommend doing this is if you're using a service like cloud TMA or something like that, to get buyer, uh, to get seller leads. And, and that's a whole animal in itself. I probably shouldn't be opening that can of worms. But um, if you wanna collect like a, a name and a phone number and an email and an address and send them a CMA, and then you have their information too, um, then you, you can use a site like this. But for the most part, um, Facebook, it, it's easier and it's better to follow up with one of the, their Facebook um, lead generation forms, which is going to ask them for their name, their phone number, and their email address. And it's going to literally take it from their Facebook profile. And you can learn more, sign up, or apply now. You would obviously do learn more. Unless you're doing like a first-time homebuyer seminar in Zoom, right? Mm, good idea. And then you you may want to have them sign up for something. Um, and Carlos, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm just wondering, so if you use that lead generation form from Facebook, does it go into command? I remember people were saying the leads, it was confusing because 
it would go through command. You went to a place where they weren't sure it was, they didn't even know it was there or something. So where, where would we find the leads once we do get them? Where do they go to? Sure. I'm going to save this for one second. Once, once you find the leads, once you, that's a good question. My computer's, uh, my computer's, my computer's tired. This little guy has been uploading like 200 gigabytes worth of files. Um, there it goes. So this is what your ad looks like when you have completed it. So this is an ad that I ran. I ran it for nine days. I spent 24, 21. I got 19 leads for $1.58 each. Right here, you're going to click on where it says uh, CPLC. Um, you're going to click on this right here and it's going to show you all of them right there. Um, it's going to show you all your leads. And remember, for some reason, uh, Keller Williams um, limits, for some reason, Keller Williams limits you to only 50 contacts. It is what it is that you could view at the same time. So you just hit, um, you know, now it's showing me 19 of 19. And this is what I would do if I, if I were you. Uh, so that's how you view them. You can bulk add it, bulk edit, and then I would um, add a bulk tag so that um, so that you never forget who they are. So you could put Facebook ad. I probably wouldn't put Facebook ad. I'd probably put um, FB ad um, 52 and then continue with the tag so that you could find them on our later day base. But that's how you find them right there. I don't know how to go back. Campaigns. That's how you find them. You're gonna to go to pay, paid ads and you're going to see, um, you can download the, C, the CSV. And uh, let's see what happens when I downloaded that. So is, is there an alert when you get these things or you just have to kind of oh. take a look in there? No, you actually get an alert on your Kelly app. Uh, do you, are you logged into your Kelly app? Yes. Yep. So you actually get an alert and it's pretty much real time. I mean, off and on by a couple of seconds, but mm -hmm. you get, you get, a, you definitely get a, a, an alert on Kelly. Even when someone uh, inquires on your app, you also get an alert on Kelly too. So, um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, so here's where you would click. I, I don't know how to find it in an easier way. They used to have that you clicked here and it, uh, a little drop down menu would pop up, but they took that away. So you would click underneath this here. You, this does nothing. This does nothing. Just the 19, you could see the actual leads coming in. And this is, these are real leads. Um, this is what they look like. And I received them on March 3rd or I'm sorry. February 24th is when I received it. So I obviously, I gave these leads away, but um, obviously I didn't do anything. I should, if they were my leads, not only would I have called them, but I would have put all of them on a smart plan immediately, you know? Um, and if I was an agent in production, I would follow, I would go into these smart plans and customize it to make sure that they're internet lead um, ready. You know, hmm. I'm having trouble hearing you. Sorry about that. Series a little crazy. So, uh, so I hope that answered that. I'm gonna go back into this uh, ad to see if I could um uh, continue to continue to edit it. Again, I'm gonna go back here. Get command. Um, and then it's going to ask you if you have a follow-up URL. If you have uh, a site outside of command, you can put that there. Uh, or if you have a, a site in command, you can choose one of your sites. So you could say, have them download my app. Um, and that will redirect them. As soon as they hit send, it will redirect them to, uh, to the KW app, which will sense what system they have, whether Android or iOS, um, and it will bring them either to the Apple Store or to the Play Store to download that app. 
And once they download that app with your specific code, the moment they go in, you are the agent on the profile. All right. So um, the next thing. Yes. Carlos, let me ask you a question, please. Sure. Uh, at the beginning, I may have missed this, but uh, since this is a paid ad, <clears throat> what was your limit on the uh, on the amount? Um. Well, oh, okay. So we recommend between twenty and thirty dollars on per each week? ad. Per per ad, okay. Yes, on on each ad. You, between twenty and thirty dollars, you can do ten dollars. You can do five dollars. We find that twenty and thirty dollars is that sweet spot. And again, between seven to eleven days, um, again, is that sweet spot. Um, and Jacqueline, to go back into your question too, um, I believe that there is a place on Facebook that you can find your leads. I have to find that, but I believe you could find it on on Facebook technically if you wanted to. But they 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 go into command, so you don't have to worry about that. Is that it, Dan? Yes, thank you, Carlos. All right, cool. You're welcome. So the next uh, line here would be ad targeting. Now, um, you can leave it to what it is. Personally, I like using custom settings. Um, and if, if I know anything that's going on right now, I know a lot of people are coming from, are coming from, are coming from Long Island, right? So can I put, oops, what, is, what did I do? Let me see if I can put Kings County. Kings County, New York. So now I'm, I'm, at, I'm advertising in Brooklyn or you can advertise wherever you want. Remember we have this really cool thing called the referral patterns right here on command that if you say to yourself, you know what? Uh, I want to see where most people are coming from. You can go to referrals, you can go to map, and then over here, hit referral patterns. And it could show you where most people are going toward and where most people are coming from. So if you say, you know what, I want to start advertising to these specific places, these are the places that, that a lot of people are either looking or coming from, right? So why not advertise out there? Um, and, and the only reason I mentioned Brooklyn was because a couple of agents that I have spoken to are advertising in Brooklyn. They're having really good success. Um, I'm sorry, where did you find that? Where was that? Um, um, that's in the referrals. Oh, referrals, okay. Yep, and you're gonna hit map and then you're gonna bring this drop down all the way to referral patterns. Okay, cool, thanks. And, and you can change this to anything. You're welcome. You can change this to anything. You can put Ridgefield. It doesn't give you every town because it has to have a good amount of real estate getting done there. And remember that command gets better as you, as you use it. And uh, for the record, I have used a lot of different CRMs. I've used uh, Chime, Sync, I've used Boomtown, um, and I've used one other one. Anyways, I, I've used uh, a couple of CRMs and not every platform is gonna be perfect, but command is, is you know, top notch. So you can put a radius around wherever you want to put. In this specific case, I'm gonna put King County, and then you can add interests. I like to add about uh, five, six, seven interests, and I'm gonna put Zillow as my first one because like it or not, they are uh, the, the big dog when it comes to um, uh, internet searches, right? And I don't click on Premier Agent because that's us, people who pay for Zillow. So you're gonna click on Zillow. The next one I'm gonna click on is realtor.com and it's gonna show up there. Again, not the pro, but realtor. And then I'm gonna click on Redfin. See if it pops up, it didn't. So I'm gonna click on, uh, I'm gonna first time home, first time home buyer, uh, nope. Um, uh, which other ones have I used? FHA, FHA insured loan. Sure, why not? Um, uh, what is the other one? Um, well, you can and and you can click down here and continue to look for them one by one. So if someone is maybe looking at apartment list or apartment guide, 
um, maybe even apartments.com. Definitely, I wouldn't put an application for employment because they're not looking for a job. And if they're looking for a job, I don't think they're looking for a house right now, right? Um, and then you can go down there and just continue to, to, to search whatever folks are looking for, creative real estate investing, hey, why not? Um, and if they are, uh, you know, you, you could definitely just uh, continue to search for things that, that will have that interest. Now, I'll, I'll tell you that Facebook ads is, is your first ad may not go as well as you hope, but as you get better, you'll see that things uh, start getting better. And I'm taking a long time to do this one, but I could really put up an ad in like less than 10 minutes from, from the beginning to the end and call it a day. Um, so I'm gonna hit that save. I'm gonna hit save Facebook ad, and then that's it. Mm. And then in the bottom here, Oh, I'm sorry. I have one more question because yeah. I, I know in, um, in Facebook, well, I don't know if they changed this, but they used to have, uh, you know, you can do salary of the people that you're looking for. So if you're looking for high income earners, I mean, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can choose from Facebook. Is that not available here? Well, um, in 2019, I think, um, Facebook really cut back on their options. Uh, for real estate specifically. So if like I own a video production company, so I can actually search for demographics when it comes to age, sex, mm -hmm. uh, um, for real estate, it's actually cut off because of the, they found um, a lot of um, unfair, um, you know, whatever they call it. It's uh, uh, unfair housing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unfair housing, right? So in order for Facebook to cover their end, um, they've limited you tremendously, tremendously. <clears throat> um, so that's why even, even uh, people who use services just like this one, like bold leads and stuff like that, are seeing a big drop in the, in the uh, quality of their leads because they can't target. You can't target them as much, yeah. But right. in, even in, you're saying that even in Facebook, they don't have it anymore? No, no. Okay. I mean, I, I will double check. Yeah, I'm um, going to take a look at it. And, and, and if I'm wrong, then, then I, I apologize. But I, I ran out Facebook ads before on Facebook, um, and, and it doesn't allow me to do it anymore. Okay. I knew that there were changes. I wasn't sure that it was like everything. Because, I mean, for me, price range doesn't, I don't know, fair housing is that, you know, that's like us getting them pre-approved. It's, you know, to know how much money they have, you know, I don't know. Right. But right. that's fine. Um, so this specific, and then you can uh, remember that your Facebook has to wait a minimum of 24 hours. So it, it would be the next day. Um, so it would be from June 3rd to June 13 if you wanted to do that. Um, or if you wanted to add uh, an extended day to maybe the 15th, you could do that. It's going to drop down how much it's going to spend per day. Um, and that's that. You can bring up or bring down your budget. Um, and I believe that $5 is the minimum, right? Yeah, I think $5 is the minimum, but you wouldn't want to do that for $5. You're not even going to get exposure. You might as well put it into a coffee or in a savings bank if, Rick, you're watching. And then you're going to hit um, save duration and budget, and then that's it. Now, it, it's going to give you two previews. It's going to give you a mobile, and this is what it looks like when someone's on their phone. And again, it's so important. These, the, the text, uh, little emojis and a carousel is so important because we as humans uh, just have a, a curious nature. So if you're scrolling and all of a sudden you see that there's a picture halfway here, you out of curiosity say, oh, okay. And then you just keep scrolling, you know? Um, so that's that. And then you can, you can do one of two things. You can save as draft or you can hit publish campaign. Um, and then it will give you two options on, on where you want to go. And, it, and then that's it. And then you can hit create campaign and it's gonna take about a day for it to get approved. If, if two or three days have passed and it's still pending, it means that it's not approved. So go back in there, edit it, or actually at that point you can edit it. You can probably duplicate, duplicate it and remove a couple of things and, and see where, where you went wrong or you can start from scratch. But that's about it when it comes to Facebook um, campaigns. Does anybody have 
Any questions, comments, complaints? Very helpful. I learned something new today. I'm glad. What did you learn to do today? Well, I, I learned where to go to find like the referral patterns. I never knew that existed. And uh, I forget what the other, the other, about using emojis. That was something new I didn't know about. Yeah, I love as, emojis. As a, as a uh, catch. And if you have a Windows computer, sometimes Windows computers don't have emojis on them. So what I used to do is I used to email myself from my iPhone or from my Android. I used uh -huh. to email myself a bunch of emojis and just copy and paste them on the email. Your email, that you could see them. So I'd copy and paste from my email and name that email emojis. Um, I, it was a long process, but it, at least I got my emojis in. Some, like I mentioned to you in the beginning, uh, this is an internet ad. This is an internet lead. So you have to do your follow-up and remember that the average closing time for an internet lead is 18 months, right? So it's not like uh, you're gonna put an ad out today. This is a long-term game because all of us have chosen real estate to be our career, right? So you have to consider that, you know? Um, I remember that my first closing when I was on my previous team, um, it was on a lead that was in our system for about a year, maybe a year and a half, and nobody wanted to call those leads anymore. And I just kept digging through the leads and I text the guy said, Hey, are you still searching? He said, yeah, I am. You know, I, I need this, this, and this. And I said, okay, great. Because it was a year and a half old, no one followed up with him. I had no competition. Right. So, um, we, we saw a couple of houses. He closed one. He closed on one. So it's there. It's there for the taking. And I know this is not a smart, uh, a smart, plans class, but I would strongly suggest that if you're going to be doing Facebook ads, go into smart plans and get your game up in, oh no, wait, yeah, go into, go into smart plans and get your game up in when it, uh, when it comes to building good smart plans, because the library here is only about 10 smart plans, right? And these are good. Um, I think these are, these are, these are a good start, but if, if you want to really hit the internet, uh, lead business, tremendously um you have to go in there and and create and you don't have to create one from scratch um there's a lot of good stuff on the internet already you could look for real estate drip campaigns um and they'll tell you you know you could tom ferry has a couple you know they have a, a, a lot of them and you may not get as intricate as as i do with my big um uh, with my big boxes back there and you know um but but create that smart plan um, that will personify you, you know, that they could say, oh, this is Carlos talking to me. It's not, a, I, I know it's not a robot, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty excited about y'all. All right, well, that's it. And I think Thank that- Thank you that, very much. Thanks, yeah. Carlos. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Don, you got a question? No, just like, I, I wasn't able to find that referral patterns. Can you just- Sure. So you're going to go my referrals and yeah, you're going to go to referrals and then you're going to go to map up here. Wait a minute. Oh, it's in command. Okay. I was in, Re in KW connect. Okay. So go ahead. I'll watch. Go ahead. Do it again. Yep. So you're going to go to referrals and then on the top, you're going to go to map. Okay. And then over here, it's going to give you, um, uh, a drop down. Okay. It, it, here it's going to give you a drop down of, referral pattern perfect all right I, I was i was in kw connect rather than command okay terrific thank you I mean, you can switch it from send to receive yeah uh, i love that all righty all right cool and and actually this is a good this is a good presentation tool you know when when you're having your your uh your uh, seller's presentation you could say how many companies have shown you where where most leads are coming from where where people are coming from you know like i'm gonna advertise out there you know, yeah, that might be a good slide even to have. Or, you know. It is powerful. Yeah, love it. All right. Thank you, guys. Have All a right. Day. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.